Yet under the platform's theory, Western Union was just making editorial choices. Not rhythms are constitutionally protected. Platforms may be able to continue selling out. Mr. Nielsen. Thank you. It's been a long day. Uh, Mr. Chief Justice, and may it please the court. This is not the first time that new technology has been used to stifle speech. Telegraphs also discriminated based on viewpoint, prompting a national, a national scandal. Yet under the platform's theory, Western Union was just making editorial choices not to transmit pro-union views. Today, millions of Americans don't visit friends or family or even go to work online. Uh, on person, everybody is online, the modern public square. Yet if platforms that passively host the speech of billions of people are themselves the speakers and can discriminate, there will be no public square to speak of. We know this because Twitter has admitted that their theory of the First Amendment would allow them to discriminate not just based on what is said on the platform, but, quote, on the basis of religion or gender or physical disability. That's not the First Amendment. That's Lochner 2.0. And as more than 40 states warn the court, the implications are gravely serious. For example, as New York explains, if these algorithms are constitutionally protected, platforms may be able to continue selling advertisers the ability to, um, to discriminate based on race. Or, as Professor Lawrence Lessig, Zephyr Teachout, and Tim Wu, who do not typically file briefs in support of Texas, um, <laughs> caution not just states, but Congress may be powerless to address the social media crisis devastating the lives of kids. HB 20 is a modest effort to regulate such power in the context of viewpoint discrimination. Platforms can say anything they want under HB 20 about anything. There's no limit. They can say anything they want. Users can block anything they don't want. There's no limit on that. All that's left is voluntary communications between people who want to speak and people who want to listen. This law is thus nowhere near the heartland of the First Amendment. Uh, instead, this is democracy and federalism, not a facial pre-enforcement injunction. I welcome the court's questions. Uh, if you, if uh, this was so uh, clearly within uh, a common law tradition, as you suggest, why hasn't Congress uh, seen fit to, uh, uh, to act as Texas has? And uh, it appears that uh, Mr. Clement suggests that actually Congress uh, has acted in the opposite direction. Would you comment on that? Yeah, I don't see how, uh, with all respect to my friend, how their reading of 230 is at all consistent with what Congress said. They have all sorts of kind of policy arguments about how 230 ought to work, but if you actually just read the words of the statute, it doesn't work. So his suggestion that Congress somehow has kicked out Texas or said that that's not how he wants to be, I don't think it's consistent with the text of the statute. I didn't hear a lot of textual argument um, coming from Mr. Clement there. So that'd be my, my first line answer. My second line answer is I have no idea why Congress does or does not do, uh, but I do know that Texas has the ability to protect Texans, and that's what Texas has done here. We know this because Twitter has admitted that their theory of the rhythms are constitutionally protected. Platforms may be able to continue selling after Lawrence Lessig, Zephyr Teachout and Tim Wu, who do not typically file briefs, are themselves the speakers and can discriminate. There will be no public square to advertisers the ability to, um, to discriminate based on race. Or, as Professor Arias, for example, as New York explains, if these algorithms, and as more than 40 states warn the court, the implications are gravely serious. That's not the First Amendment. That's Lochner 2.0. Graphs also discriminated based on viewpoint, prompting a national, a national scandal. This may be powerless to address the social media crisis devastating the lives of kids. The First Amendment would allow them to discriminate not just based on what is said on the platform, yet if platforms that passively host the speech of billions of people transmit pro-union views. Today, millions of Americans don't visit friends or family, form, but quote, on the basis of religion or gender or physical disability. Mr. Nielsen. Yet under the platform's theory, Western Union was just making editorial choices, not in support of Texas. Um, <laughs> caution, not just states, but Congress. This is not the first time that new technology has been used to stifle speech. Telegraph